It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Maddest Writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 2010, recorded Thursday, October 17th, 2024. Get a grip. This episode of the Gizwiz Diggity has a Halloween decor gadget of his own. Uh, what the heck is it plus your videos and another Halloween decor gadget that might leave you floating around. All next on the Gizwiz. It's the same day show ah. with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness geek disease. Under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs. Growing blowing LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now. Now and here he is, our spooky gadget expert, Dickie D. <laughs> How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing great. Doing very good. Been, Excellent. Been, yeah. Anything thrilling in your life this past week? Well, uh, my parents and uh, family were in town over the weekend, so we were enjoying some Disney and some some fun times. Um, and other than that, just kind of getting back to it after the massive hurricane from last week. Um, uh, Captain Jay was talking about it earlier in the chat room, and uh, uh, it's been interesting to see it all kind of roll through, you know, all the cleanup and everything. Yes, so there's lots yes. Of branches down, and now that a week on, it's like nothing has happened. Um, at least around here, uh, I'm sure that near the coast, it is still <laughs> quite crazy. Um, but yeah, no. Other than that, it's been a, it's been a, uh, a pretty good, pretty good, great week. Yeah, there you is finally fall around here. Fall is barely tiptoeing in. We had a day in the 60s, day in the 70s, and for Florida, that is awesome. So, I, like, today I had to wear a long sleeve shirt, if you couldn't, I can't wow. believe it. Wow. Yeah. Now, you don't have trees that change, right? No, nah, they are not quite as perfect as it is up in the north. Uh, the trees, when they change down here, they're a little confused. They don't do it all at once. <laughs> and there's also a lot of evergreen trees, uh, like pine, pine trees and, and things like that, that just will never turn. So... We don't get quite the nice fall season that uh, you do in in New in, England. <laughs> in New, in New York City. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. I'm reading that Disney is raising the prices again, and I thought you have. So you live in Florida. Mm -hmm. You can get a special pass, right? Yes. Yes, you can. And, Does and that they, keep going up in price? Yes, it will. It will. Uh, in fact, I think as I've had, I've had a season pass for a few years in a row, and it, it has gone up. I think every year that I've I've had it, um, and and then with the with you being a resident, I uh, you can get there's like different levels of passes and with different blackout dates and different features, and so it's not just one pass fits all. They have like Past levels that include the photos, past levels that include the the water parks and things like that. So, uh, so yeah, there's that too. Yeah, that's what I want. I, I I figured, do they tell residents of Florida don't come on the weekends or sometimes don't come? Yeah, don't, don't come on the holidays. Absolutely, because it's we don't need you. We don't need you thinking. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. They say, you know, what's good for us is Mondays through Thursday. You know, that might be a good time for you all to come by. Uh, exactly. That that happens uh, depending on the level of pass you get. There'll be different blackout dates. Um, and holidays and weekends are always the, uh, the ones that are blacked out, <laughs> basically. Oh, they're, always, they're always the ones that, that uh, they get hit. Um, uh, so, yeah, 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 definitely. And then okay. Universal is opening up a whole new park, a whole new park. There, you know, uh, Disney has four different parks, and Universal has two different parks, and they're opening up a third, which will be called Epic Universe. And that is crazy because that is they. I think they started selling tickets, and like you can't get season tickets yet. Like you can only buy day passes, <laughs> things like that. So, so that'll be a whole. Another park uh, for the area, which will be opening, I think, next year. Wow. Crazy. We're going to hold another theme park in Florida. 
Um, so yeah, that's, that, that's to look forward to. Anything been happening with you? Boy, uh, nothing thrilling. Just buying stuff for the show and shooting videos for the show. And um, Verizon Fios guys came with a great big box and went down the cellar and installed it. But I haven't heard anything since. However, when I went out in the yard, there's two giant rolls of cable <laughs> hanging on my back wall. So whatever they hooked up in the basement, they have cables to it hanging on the back of my building. That's but right. evidently, the building behind us, which for some reason has a giant feeder cable, they're very uncooperative about letting Fios in to hook stuff up. So, oh, wow. Yeah, well, I know. You got to get those neighbors on board. <laughs> exactly. They're slowing down the whole internet process. What the heck? Yeah, exactly. So the last time the guy said, we may be back with alternative ways to hook Fios up to your building if we can't get those people to uh, work with us. So. Wow. Anyway, it, it's they're putting a lot of equipment in the building, so they're serious about it. So that's, that's so it. exciting. That <laughs> yes. is so exciting. Yeah. Uh, and still no timeline, just when it happens. When well, yeah, happens. exactly, exactly. But so far, Spectrum has been okay. Yeah, yeah. And, com I mean, you've already seen the competition. Spectrum, what, last week gave you a little bit more data? Tiny yes, bit exactly. Yes, exactly. That's exactly. Great. That's in great. the wrong way they they gave it to me down not up but yeah it was said. it was free so we that's all right. physically cannot give you any better upload speed is is kind of the feeling i'm getting is they might actually be maxed out on that one <laughs> you know what the guy told me that they he said if you really want great speeds we have to do all your cables over because the cables in this part of the Upper West Side are like 30 years old or whatever. Right. So, yeah. Right. I mean, when, when cable first out, all the boxes were on the roof, open. And <laughs> a anybody who had any technical sense would just go up with a cable, plug it in. That, the good old days. Dang it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, so like all the cable wires old. This is it's that's why poof, it's exciting fiber. Uh, there will be still a day. I feel a fear. Ah, oh, these fiber cables are so old. <laughs> I, don't, I hope not. I think fiber will last a long time, but uh, that'll be great. Okay, cool. Uh, let's jump okay. into some gadgets. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now uh, I am treading on your theme, and hoping that you have not already bought this as part of uh, your segment, but take a peek. It's not a what the heck is it, but I'm hoping I am sort of infringing on Chad's theme. <laughs> I think there's enough room. Something Plenty that of room. I might put in my window here at Disneyland. And so I bought that down. Oh, this has instructions. Oh, whoa. Oh, wow. Oh, Lots of pieces. Holy cow. This looks pretty neat. I bought the hanging door Halloween display with waterproof battery compartment. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. All right, so I will, you know, this could be nice. I love this little bat at the top. So I will, let me just see what we need here. Um, you will need four AA batteries. And it also has, I just saw it when I was opening the box. Mm -mm -mm. 72 LEDs, battery powered with built-in timer and eight lighting modes. 
and waterproof battery box. So I'll get four batteries, put them in, and we'll come back and be spooky. Whoa! It is right. bright. It's bright. And so we started down in the basement, and I wore all black except I forgot my arms. <laughs> and then we we came upstairs. Down on a black rug. So here it is. We start with the bat. And there are eight modes. And you pick them by just clicking the single button on the top. So we have Happy Halloween. I guess each one of them says Happy Halloween. And we're sort of hoping that it doesn't blow the camera out so you can sort of see the lights a little bit better. And then after you go through all eight, this one's kind of nice, the slow one. That It'll like shut it off. It'd be perfect to end like a Ooh, teacher's spooky. door. Happy it's Halloween. I thought, it was, I thought it was pretty nice for 14 bucks. Yeah. This seems like it'd be like an elementary school teacher. Oh my gosh. Best decoration ever, you know? Y yeah. Like yeah. That's what I'm thinking. But I yeah. like it. I like now it a lot. The, now the automatic timer, uh, I've I've gotten several things with this. It you you can't set it for s specific times to go on and off. It's 6 hours on, 18 hours off. And basically the first time so basically you turn it on at the time you like and it'll nice. stay on for six hours and then the next day it will go on again at that same time and stay on for six hours. That's kind of uh, clever. It's an easy then, way to, to do that, but yeah, you, there, you gotta yeah. be on track the first time you turn it on. You exactly. Right on time. It, it, Exactly. Um, but I mean, that's all included in, in the uh, $14 price. And you can leave it on steady or any one of the seven flashing modes. I, I Sometimes, you know how when if you're like really good into editing or audio mixing, you can kind of always tell stuff, you know, you kind of see details that other people miss. Well, there's a detail about this gadget that I can just not unsee, which is that they were only able to Photoshop one of these these in the like LED mode, and they have just used it over and over and oh. over again. <laughs> Here is this. Look, see how the lights are turned on this exact pattern in this oh, exact yes, way? Oh, yes, yes. They're the same. They've just Photoshopped it, but it's they just overuse this Photoshop everywhere, including... The, like, child that's taking it from this house and is carrying it with him on the way. <laughs> oh, that's very funny. <laughs> that's just, very this funny. This photoshopped image of the, of the light is just a little much. That's um, very funny. I, I like it. I think that it's, uh, it adds up quite a lot for uh, a little. And the waterproof battery pack, I think, is a nice addition that you don't yeah, worry and, about Yeah, and they, uh, it has a very long cable on it so you can... Even though it's waterproof, you could bring it in your house or stick it up under a, a sheltered part of your porch or something. Also, you know, um, Amazon has started using AI in the question. You know, when you have a question about a product. Oh yes. And, <laughs> and so I read in the if in the actual listing by the company dimension one inch by one inch, by one inch. And I figure, what? So I go into the question thing and I said, how tall is this? And the little thing comes out and it says, the item dimensions mentioned are one inch by one inch by one inch. This is likely an error. Oh, wow. Because, because elsewhere, the product title indicates it's a three foot high sign. So... Oh, thanks, AI. Yeah. That helps. Thank that you. helps. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I was thinking, that doesn't look like one inch by one inch. I don't know. I'm not an architect. 
At least the AI can also creatively think, uh, or critically yes. think, at least. Yes, at least. yes, exactly. exactly. Um, one interesting thing I, I just noticed was right here, 50% off. What? Yeah, if I sign in. Uh, so what? you can get that for like seven bucks. Oh my, oh, you know what? It's getting closer. I bet they want to get rid of them. Yeah. Yeah, I bought mine like yeah. 10 days ago and that wasn't there. <laughs> They're like, Halloween season is approaching. We got to get these things shipped. Yeah. Out. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. The chat, room, chat room, if you're looking for something quick, seven bucks. Hard to beat. Hard to beat. Hard, Hard to beat. beat. Absolutely. But you supply your own four AA batteries. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, what is the next gadget? Uh, the next gadget is for you to guess. It's oh, a what the heck is know. it? It's time to play. Oh. What the heck is it? Okay, I'm trying to get uh, fast. Uh, um, a football. Oh, uh, a black egg. A black egg? A what? A football. A, a football. Time, a Looks timer? like a football. I see the pounds. No idea. A timer. A timer. Oh, that's A right. timer. Yes. I can see why you could uh, say that. Um, but I, I, it's wrong. <laughs> okay. Um, I never would have guessed it either. Mini it scale, is. I see. Yeah. Uh, the digital finger ball, not I finger ball, the digital finger ball, and it's by Dio Tus, Dio, D-I-O, Tus. And the object here, let's take the little window cover off, is to measure how many pounds you, your grip will develop okay ah. so you it's supposed to go on automatically so you squeeze it uh, 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 uh. i don't know if that's good or bad 37.3 pounds and then you let it go and it clears itself after three seconds now i know from reading the reviews that your hands are very different Oh. Uh, so that's my dominant hand. So my left hand should be much weaker. Mm -mm. <laughs> well, how could that Whoa! be? Whoa! <laughs> how could that be? 45, 46 pounds. Okay. Now, you have very strong hands. So I'm going to take the camera and have you squeeze it. Okay. Squeeze it tight and hold it up to the camera. Oh, what up? 48. Said, hey, my for some reason, it. my left hand was stronger. That was 48. And now, squeeze. Wow. Oh, yours is the same. 52.7. The same being um, his um, hand okay, is I'll higher than his right hand. The theory yeah. is that you can... I don't know if it's the same as before, 45. Yeah, I've already um, forgotten. <laughs> by squeezing it, you... Are we need a short-term memory tester. Your hand, okay? Yes. And a few of the reviewers said, after a few days, I was able to get the numbers to go higher. A few people said it's grossly inaccurate, so I don't know. Um, right now, it does seem sort of... Because I was getting all 42s before... And now I'm squeezing it, and I can't get back to 42. So may, I don't know. Is my hand is my hand getting weaker as I do it? It could be. And I'll squeeze it again on this side, and it's not nearly as. You know, I don't know how accurate this is. Now it's 37. I think before it was like 42. So maybe it's maybe it's more of a toy. Only 90 ratings, 4.2. Has a 500 milliamp replaceable, not replaceable, rechargeable battery. Okay, and this I think you're gonna lose really quickly. Okay. Oh, it's separate. Co uh, cover. Over oh, I the thought that was a button. Slot. Yeah, it does uh, look. I thought it was a button too. I kept in, pressing it to the screen. These are the colors you can get it in, and. It was 20 bucks. Even I football asked, color. Now you know yeah. it's rechargeable. There's no answer to that. People online just said, if it starts getting dimmer or acting wacky, 
<laughs> it probably needs to be recharged. That's funny. The one thing is when you're recharging it, the little dashes on the middle of each number light up. And when they, they light up one, two, three, when all three are solid and not blinking, it's fully charged. I think it's a fun thing. I think kids will uh, have fun with it. And I think it's the kind of thing where if you do have, want to relax your fingers, you could, you see now easily it just went back to 43. And the second time I squeeze it, 37. So it looks like it could be 10% off. All right. But, it's a fun toy. Huh? 30? Only 30 that time. And now, now I'm mad. I am yeah. mad. I am freaking mad. I am 51.8 <laughs> <pounds> mad. <sighs> and I believe it goes up to 220.4 pounds. Wow. Max. And a couple of people said if you have big, big hands, it's a little too small to comfortably grip it. That's it. That is fun. I so uh, it, you yeah can tell yeah. How stressful People are saying a that, is. Yeah, if you if you want to do a little bit of finger exercise, like someone said, I I when I'm watching television, I just keep squeezing it, and I yeah. think over time I'm actually uh, developing uh, my muscles a little better. Yeah. Grip strength. It's Grip 20 strength and it's 20 bucks, so it's not a big investment. Yeah. I do find it strange. It feels like they could have just not had that little plastic piece and then not needed to order an extra part and also not cause the anxiety of losing that tiny little yes, plastic yeah, piece. Yes, yes, yes. Look at this one's 50% off too. Uh, what is going on here? What the, what the freaking, <laughs> give me that, give me that. Give me that thing. I'm going to squeeze that thing right now. It's going to get up to 100 pounds. Oh, I my God. So freaking He's so mad. mad. so freaking mad. It's only $10 if you get the coupon. That is, that is a riot. I can't believe it. Oh, my gosh. Uh... Yeah, that's, that's cool. Right. It's also, it's also, it, I, I feel like it's a lot like the, uh, the oxygen meter type thing. It's like a good thing to kind of right. test and kind of keep track of and, and, uh, and look at every once in a oh, while. Oh, Chad, you know what we sh <sighs> Well, I'll spoil it, but I'll say it anyway. Cause I'll, on April, f if we ever get a show on April Fool's Day, uh huh. Every, we should re get that page. And then say ninety percent off. Make our own little ninety. Yeah, sure. Here's yeah, what we'll sure. do. We'll come in here. I'll go over here. Yeah, exactly. Ninety percent off. Oh my off. God, Chad! It's a dollar ninety nine. I can't believe it. Oh my God! I can't see that. This is too small of a font. I can't see this. So so oh, far. is that is that is how what how the page is? Yeah, hey, here we'll go into the code here and let's. See. Oh my god! Oh my god! Numbers. I can't find it. There's too. It's too small. But yeah, we could have totally. Here, let's see. This is the way to do it. You know what's funny? Oh yeah, no, that is selectable. Let's see. Can I can I change the fifty percent? I can't find it. My eyes aren't that good. Uh, that is too small of a uh, of font. And the screen right. is on the other side of the room. Anyway, yeah, it would be fun to just 90% yeah, <laughs> off everything. <laughs> that would be great. That would be great. Um, okay, well, third gadget. Uh, third in. gadget? I can't even remember what it was, but it's this. <laughs> we are coming up to the time of the year I dread. The end of daylight savings time. Dun, dun, dun. I'm one of those people, I really hate it when it gets dark early. I have uh, sunlight everywhere. These are from Five Below. I have one here shining up on the mad sign. I have one in my back apartment. I have one in my backyard up against the window so that it looks like the sun is out 24-7. Uh, so when I was roaming around Amazon looking for stuff, I, I found the battery-operated wall sconce, motion sensor, sunset lamp Oh! for room, hall, stairways, 
kitchen, bathroom, etc. Okay, so I thought, hmm, sunlight, light. So I bought one. Uh, it's smaller than I expected. Okay. Yeah, just the box is like five is inches it. big. Yes. Now, it's designed for magnetic doors. Metal doors, or, actually. Or, or no, magnetic anything, okay? But Metal anything. If you anything. don't have a magnetic anything, it, you glue these two to the wall, and then this can hang on to it. In a minute, I can do a demo, because the doors here in this building are all magnetic doors. All right? So it does a lot. Be aware it does a lot, all with one button. All right. <laughs> we so, love that. Hit the button in, and that is the sunlight. And I, I thought the sunlight was kind of not so great as in the photo, okay? <laughs> yeah, it looks so a little we're dim. We're walking, we're walking. Oh, oh, it's actually a lot brighter than I that's, thought. Now yeah, that it's on. the sunlight. I think it's, I don't know, does it look great online uh, in, the, in the camera? Uh, okay. It does look it, better it, than I expected. The thing is, when you move back When you from first it, turn it on. Yeah, it, it does. Uh, it. Actually, it's, it's of, better than, it's than like it looked in person. Sunrise yeah. over a small part of your door. Uh, all right. You can have a flashlight. You can went back to, it's one of those things where you have to remember... How many presses? All right, so now we I just love have the double flashlight, flashlight, one on each side. And what we're going to do is just I don't know what that, why the, that is. Uh, this in the bathroom, so you don't have to follow me. As a flashlight, it's pretty decent. Okay. Yeah, it seems bright. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, 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 uh. Also, you can use it to give yourself a nice rosy glow <laughs> if you don't mind walking around <laughs> holding a light in your hand like this. Um, all right, we're going to go back to the computer, and I'll show you some other things about it. You can have you can have two flashlights, okay, one at each end, and this is the wall sconce part. And this is something I don't understand. If they want you to do this, why put a big logo if you're going to hang this on your living room wall? I guess you could tape over that. Uh, okay, there's one other function uh, on this that I thought was pretty neat. Also, here they say mini sunset lamp. Uh, they should have that a little earlier so you realize it's going to be small. And the other interesting thing is if you have a ton of money, this I have not seen before. They have automatic linking. Oh. And you use a series of presses on that button to make that the master unit. And then it will automatically send a signal to all the other units and they will all turn on in the same mode as the master unit is set. Um, so, you know, I guess you have a big house with a long hallway that's painted white and needs something decorative. Uh, this would be okay. Again, I would certainly tape over that. Okie dokie. Yeah, okay. I agree. Now, now, there was a 20% off coupon. If yours is 50%, I'm going to be really PO'd. I can't believe this, Dicky D. I just refreshed the page, and they actually have a 1,000% off coupon. <laughs> what on earth? Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, they give so you, you money. You buy one, and you get how much back? <laughs> well, if we do the math, I think you get $1,800 <laughs> back or something like that. No, Boy, just, that's pretty good. That's pretty they good. They go 20% off. Good. There's a... Oh, that's what I off coupon. That's what I yeah. <laughs> Um Yeah, I don't know if I like this gadget at all. <laughs> I no, I do I I don't I don't either. I, I the, the little the lamp, the sunset thing I kinda like. I don't know why in the world I don't know why in the world you want a, a white light shining up and down, even as a sconce. It just seems know. so badly designed. It doesn't just doesn't seem. Uh, there's so much wrong with it. Uh, the the I don't I don't I think that the sunset part could be better. I think that it could be at a timer. I think that the the weird flashlights on either end are strange. Uh, you mentioned that you didn't like the branding on the front, and I agree. 
I mean, there's just so much that just seems like, uh, like if this was my house and I <laughs> had this, I, I feel like it would definitely uh, bring the quality of the house down a bit. I don't think people would, uh, <laughs> I don't think people would imagine, wow, what a nice house with these Targus, whatever brand this is, <laughs> things on the wall, you know? Tully bees. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know about that. Bees. No, you're right. I, I, it, when I got it, I thought, what were they thinking <laughs> to have a flashlight at each end? And why didn't they put the logo on the top or on the back? Or I don't know. A little hidden or anything. Yeah, I don't, I don't really. This one's definitely not the, the, the gadget <laughs> for me. No. Okay. <laughs> and so you've, you know you've covered so many great magnetic, rechargeable, motion-activated lights before yeah. that, that uh, definitely I'd say check those out. Yeah. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, well, with that, let's oh jump into boy, Oh, boy, oh, boy. Some crappiness. Yes. You don't need it, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okie dokie, let's head into the Crappy Corner of Decor Gadgets. I recorded a video earlier, so let's take a look. Hey diggy -dee. so here we are with another Halloween decoration gadget, and today we are taking a look at this floating candle set. So as you can see, it has a ton of candles, a magic wand, and the theming of it is very, very Harry Potter. Unleash the power of Ooh. magic. That's really all of it. Here it is. I've gone ahead and unboxed it to show you everything, and it comes with a ton of stuff. Some paperwork. A little bit of fishing line, so about 150 feet of fishing line. These little guys, which are dots, and they include little hooks to put the fishing line on. And then also glue dots. Remember glue dots? We covered glue dots on the show, oh, but they yeah. have some glue dots as well. So a whole bunch of that. Here's the information on uh, how many you get. So glue dots, 40, hooks, 20. So that's kind of nice. Uh, they have all the information there. Um, but the main event, so let's talk about what you really get, which is 20 electronic candles and a wand. These are all powered with AAA batteries. So uh, any AAA that you have around, I had some rechargeable ones that we threw in here, but any type of AAA will work. What's kind of cool is that the wand is what controls the electronic candle. So with the flick of a wand, it will Turn on. In fact, this will turn them on all uh, individually. So if I point at all of these, it will turn them all on at once and I can turn them off again as well. Only these five have batteries in them. If you look at the wand, there is an on, a light button, and an off button. The top one is the on button. That is what turns on the lights. The off obviously turns them off, but what does this middle button do? The one that has a little light bulb symbol on it. Well, at the tip of this wand, there is a red LED. And so you can, if you want to like use the red LED, you can use that middle button to create a little red LED effect. So that's what that middle button does on the wand. Um, the instructions make it very clear. By the way, also with the instructions, you get a, don't call it, don't call it Hogwarts. It's Magic School of Witchcraft and Wizardry by the Headmaster Albus Dumbledore. Very similar headmaster name there uh, with the school. I don't know why you get this piece of paper. I guess it's just kind of cool, uh, really. Um, but the instructions do a good job of giving you some ideas on how to decorate with these candles. And they suggest two really great ways of decorating. One is just to take these glue dots and glue basically the base down. So I'll do it. I'll show how they uh, they tell you to do it. Take a glue dot, stick it onto the base of the candle, obviously pull that off. Now the glue dot is attached to the candle and then you can take this and you can stick it somewhere and now that's not gonna fall over. So that's one way that they suggest to uh, put these around. The other way is to make them float, which as you can see, they're floating candles. To make them float, they have a way to do that. And that you pull off the flame off of the top. There's the LED for the flame right there. And you can actually take the fishing wire, which they give you, and you can thread it into the top. There's a, I don't, I don't know, I can barely see it, but there is a hole 
At the top of that flame, I'm not sure if it'll even come through or be obvious or not, but there is one there. And then you can, once you fish, put the fishing wire through it, you can then capture it onto the top. So it'll be able to hang directly from the flame, which is kind of cool. So let's go ahead and just turn here. And what's also kind of neat is because they are individual, and let's say I had these all around, I can turn them on. Ooh, ooh. Ah, that one's not working. Turn on. There you go. <laughs> uh, and then I could turn them off individually. Ooh, and I could like try to do like a, we turn them all off. You, why aren't you turning off? Whew. Well, that one doesn't like to work, but these other ones I can hit the on button and kind of wave it over and wave it over and I'm just clicking and holding. It's kind of a fun effect that you can turn on individual candles. Um, just with the wand. Uh, so there you go, 20 candles, quite a lot of candles. You can see I have a lot more to install. Um, and that is the floating candle set. <clears throat> so oh, I like that. Well, how ah, much was that? So on, on Amazon, don't let it shock you. I also don't remember uh, spending this much. I wanna go back and look at exactly how much I spent on this. It's currently listed for $41. Uh, with a 30% off coupon. So I'm doing the math. Uh, for a 12, roughly 12, 12, yeah, exactly. Well. So about 30, about $30 with the, with the discount. Yeah, yeah, right. That's right. Um, is, uh, is about that. And as you can see, the, um, branding is very, very, very Hogwarts. But honestly, I was pretty impressed with the uh, ability that these can really actually like float, that, that they have that type of thing. And then you can take it and you go, Ooh. oh. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> this wand apparently it does that uh, to that over in the corner, that uh, magic all over the place. Um, here, there's, there's how I can turn those off while these ones stay on, turn this one off. I turn that the correct direction. And here, let's see if also, we can, uh, if I turn off the, ah, oh, there we go. And then I can light a few over there. There you go, those are on. Oh, that's good, yeah. And then those, and then those, and then down there, and over there. And they do flicker a little bit, which you can kind of see a bit better now that it's, it's dark. Yeah. Uh, there's a tiny amount of flicker. And then I can turn them off. Ooh. And then here's that little red LED. Right there. Yeah. Turn them back on. There you go. So, <laughs> that's no, hilarious. Uh, that, that, that one up yeah. there just. <laughs> huh. Don't know how to fix that <laughs> at the moment. Here, actually. Uh, there we go. You, go back to normal. Okay, there we go. Um, so anyway, that is the 20 piece set, uh, like I mentioned. Now, um, Captain J, uh, uh, or who was it? Uh, Scooter X found it on Alibaba uh, for less. Now on Alibaba, uh, Scooter X says it's $20. I have this welcome offer. So now, you know what? I have, the, the, that company must make the same set as just candles that light because I have that packaging oh. and all I got was candles and the wire. None of the <laughs> oh. stuff that you have. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Because I looked at it and I just put it on the shelf. I said, I'm not running a wire through these candles. Are they yeah. crazy? Yeah. But with the wand and all that, that's great. It's funny. You might just have the same candles because once you, you stick in the battery, it turns on immediately um but yeah so yeah i've i've been uh pretty presently uh impressed with them and um yeah I, I, they're nice can't complain very nice um okay well with that let's move on to uh, dick's gadget warehouse <laughs> They're geeky and they're goofy, together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In this gadget warehouse, Fog on. All 
right, it's been a while, but we have another video from Jeff and Adam. Woo and here it is. Good evening, Dick and Chad. This is Jeff and Adam from New York with another Gadget Warehouse video. Okay, this isn't it, but it'll be an <laughs> idea. You stand there, charger, the built-in cables. I think you guys reviewed something like this. I only have 19% charge on this, I believe. I can get it on. This is embarrassing. It was working before. Uh, anyway, take my word for it. <laughs> anyway, 19% with the including cables. But what can I do to charge this if I'm out and about? Good question. Introducing the Let's Come. Oh. 30,000. The other one was 10,000. This is 30,000. Wow. Charger. It comes in your choice of black or white. It comes with a nice orange handle, as you can see. Um, it also has a built-in flashlight. It, one, it weighs 1.9 pounds, has an internal lithium ion battery. I'll turn it on here just to show you the flashlight. Kind of that is cool. And a sneak preview of the, you can't really see it, but it's durable. Um, <laughs> turn off that. It tells you 25, 50, 75, or 100 percent. We get the whole thing in frame. Like I said, the handle ah. has the built-in cables to charge it, micro USB, USB-C, and lightning. And it has four USB-A chargers and also USB-C here that also is in, in, inward to charge it as well as outbound. Uh, the power button for the flash that I already showed you. And uh, it's a great little thing. Now, the best part that I like about it is if you're really off the grid or you need to charge something, it has a solar panel as well. So That's how great cool. That is. So it has everything. It's a one-stop shop. So this is great for on the go, like business trips, flying and stuff like that. I wouldn't probably take this on a plane. Um, but, you know, I keep it in my car on the back dash and it's always charging. Um, I don't suggest, Chad, you charge your Tesla with it. Um, you know, you could try. Just kidding. Not responsible for that. Probably not. Um, but anyway, it would be great to use. I've charged a laptop with it. I've charged a couple devices at the same time. And I got it for twenty nine ninety nine. Wow. on HSN, Home Shopping Network. It's a great device. And uh, it is kind of portable, I guess, with the built-in handle. And um, so far, so good. Have a great day. Love the show. Keep up the great work. Take care. Bye. That is great. I, I, yeah. I've had like one or two batteries with built-in cables. And I've always appreciated them. They've always been really nice. When you don't have to go fishing for a cable and it's it's still it's in the battery just in like the this. in the unit itself. Now yeah. Home Shopping Network is sold out, but I oh. typed in some of, some of those specs and this looks pretty good. I think his was thirty thousand. This yeah. is forty. It, it's ten. Uh, what his was thirty five. I think this right. is five dollars more, but it's forty two thousand eight hundred milliamps. It has the four built in cables. It has the solar panel. It has a, Doesn't it has a, a laser hand. pointer, apparently. A laser pointer for your candle. Up here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dual flashlight. Yeah, it has a it has a compass and a thing. It is quite. It is a bit different. Um, yeah. But it's, yeah. Uh, wow. But also, uh, again, it's kind of does a lot for not that much money. Yeah. I really like the integrated uh, solar panel on it because the your thought of I just put it in the back at uh, the back window and let it yes charge, that's a, that's great that's it's perfect great. that's perfect the yeah. one feature I could ever imagine that they add to something like this that would be awesome total I'm just totally making it up on, off the top of my head is um one of those car uh, uh, um. Oh my gosh, jumpers, where they have that little extra attachment that will allow you to oh, jump yeah, a car. Yes. To, to, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that would be because great. Because that would be, all, this would be the per, the perfect device, like leave it in the car. Just leave it in the car, let it charge. And and uh, other than that, though, uh, amazing. Um, this type of device is, is, a, is a great survival gadget, great battery, and I completely agree is the one you have that's 10,000, perfect travel charger, and this this... New one is good for um, camping, survival. That's great. That's really cool. Yeah. Uh, so, Jeff, thank you very much. Your mad is on the way. And we're now, now we are looking for more videos, okay? So if you want to make a video for the show, get the current issue of Mad Magazine, 
make a little video, be in it if you want, or like Jeff, just show us the gadget, shoot in uh, landscape mode, make sure we can hear you and see the gadget. That's basically it. Do it on your phone, a one to three minute video, like Jeff and Adam's video was like just under a couple of seconds, under three minutes. Uh, put it up on YouTube. You can click on listed when you upload it. And that way only people with the URL can see it and send the URL to us mail at gizwiz.tv mail at gizwiz.tv and do it quickly. Okay. Do it, do it now or I will cast no, a spell there you go. on you. Well, that thing really works. I'm going to start. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yours really does look exactly the same. Wow. Yeah. That does crazy. Mine, mine are, mine came at the wire. It does it almost looks, yeah. And mine just came with an on off remote control. Oh, yeah. You got to get the wand. Yeah. The wand is better. And you know what? Mine don't have those little sticky things that yours have. And those are, oh, maybe that's what thumbtacks are. <laughs> It says oh. 12, 12 thumbtacks. You get the so word, maybe, 12 thumbtacks. Maybe Dang. that's what the... the that seems kind of cheap. Yeah. <laughs> the thumbtacks. That's funny. That's great. But I have no wand and no <laughs> magic like yours. Yeah, instead of glue dots, the thumbtacks. That's great. Uh, with that, let's move on to the letter. A uh, letter is from Mo, and all is the letter is just a subject line, which had me so confused. The subject line is Does anybody want a used ride? A used now, what, ride. Okay. Yeah, would any, I, I was thinking a used ride. Was yeah. it an Uber pass that ran out? Uh, anyway, when I went there, I was fascinated. Take okay. a look at this. Wizard they are ride? selling used amusement park rides. <laughs> like that one is two hundred and twenty-five thousand. Oh my gosh! I didn't know this was a hobby that I could get into. Uh, wow! <laughs> I want the Astro Liner. Oh my! Look at look at that. Let's see the. Is this the only photo of the Astro Liner we get? Oh no, they don't have any video. Before I get twenty, drop twenty thousand oh, dollars. Ted, it's five hundred thousand. How much is it? Twenty. Oh, 000. 20 oh, it's not. It's on a trailer. Chad, you can bring it around the neighborhood and oh, go to fairs with it. Fantastic. I was, I was worried that I couldn't bring around the Astro <laughs> Liner. Um, now I think the one that. Uh, most oh, the G Wiz. Was the G Wiz. It linked to the G Wiz. Oh my gosh. Now that one is whoa expensive. Uh, what is this? What is the G Wiz? Oh, you know, this is a very bad website. They it's should... a horrible website. If you all. This, is this the only photo we get of the G Wiz? You know, I have no idea what it is. <laughs> I know. I know. Apparently, here, let's see. Uh, it's a family ride. Uh, I guess we need to contact the sales department about the G Wiz ride. This is hilarious. This, the Gravitron, I've, I, oh, look, they have two Gravitrons. I've actually ridden, they have three Gravitrons. I can't read. They have three different Gravitrons. I remember that ride. See how much, what's the difference between these three, you think? One. 48,000. Uh, 48,000. Okay. I'll try to Boy, open. that's big. I <laughs> know. Can I not open these in uh, new tabs? Gravitron, where are you go? Open that in a new tab. Open that in a new tab. Please. There we go. I need to look through these. Here we go. Okay, so this one is 75,000. And this one is 120,000. And this one is the original. This is the cheap one that we want. Look at that. 
Oh, only 48,000. Diggy D, in just mere moments, I have decided which ride we're going to buy. We're going to buy the, uh, yeah, this other uh, Gravitron. Uh, there we go. This is definitely the one that we need to purchase. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So. I don't um, think it's going to fit here at Disneyland, so you'll probably have it shipped to you. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure that the, I'll put in the parking lot of the apartment complex. <laughs> and I think I'll... Uh, my, I'll send my wire information later, so we'll just go 50-50 on the Gravitron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Although, okay. what is the responsibility for buying a used amusement park ride? I'm not sure. <laughs> you don't even need a license. Anyone can do it. Diggy D. Oh, there you go. Well, then, then, then it's fine. Then it's I have fine. no idea. I have, yeah. I have no idea. Yeah, I need that coupon. We need to apply a 1,000% <laughs> off coupon. That's that right. is so insane. Mo, I'm glad you sent that over. Never Mo, thought. I, Mo, I don't know where you find um, Never in my years of lurking on the web for crazy things to buy has used amusement park rights come up. No. I'm, I'm just surprised, surprised that have... they're able to curate quite, such a, an ex expansive list of rides. Yeah, but no roller coasters. No. Five thousand eight hundred and fifty-five thousand wooden streaks. You build yourself the world's largest roller coaster. They do have super. Oh, trucks. that's what we could do. We could we could sell a do-it-yourself roller coaster and ship people just a bunch of logs. I this is a great idea. Call it DIY backyard coaster. Yes, Co yeah. backyard. Uh, Wooden coaster like the old days. It's perfect. 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 Fits any size, <laughs> any size lot. Uh, call. <laughs> we need. Do you remember we reviewed a gadget? It was a. Um, it was a magnetic lid that would fit on the top. Uh, that would, could go over your food. And I remember one of the things that struck me about it was it shipped with a piece of paper that said if you ever want to litigate against us <laughs> here's where you do it and how you do it and exactly who to contact and it was the strangest thing because it was the only loose leaf piece of paper in this gadget the only one was do you want to sue us here's how to sue us if you're going to sue oh, us that is so funny i feel like that Disclaimer: We, if we ran a carnival yes, game, yes, we, yes, we have to do that. Yeah, we'd have to yeah. hand out the paper. You got to sue us. Just make sure to sue us over here. It'll, <laughs> it'll help us with the paperwork immensely. Here's our yeah. lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? We want to say thank you to our patrons who don't sue us. Thank you, thank you, thank you <laughs> for your support. You do the opposite of suing us. You give us some uh, generosity every single episode. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Patreon.com slash gizwiz is where you can support the show if you want to. Patreon.com slash gizwiz. Or head on over to gizwiz.tv. There's a Patreon banner or, or a tab right at the top of the website, and that'll take you to a page that has a big banner to Patreon and a small little link for PayPal if you want to donate via PayPal as well. However you, however you support, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support of our show. And head on to gizwiz.tv. That is where you can watch the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. When we are live, the live stream will update on the website uh, automatically. So just head on over there, uh, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time, just a little bit before. Join the chat room, chat along with everybody, and uh, have a grand old time uh, there, uh, gizwiz.tv. If you don't and catch And we the should show mention on, our special. We should. Oh my gosh, we've been. I've been horrible at, at it. Uh, on Halloween Day, we will be recording our normal Thursday show, and then right after, recording a special Halloween uh, event for all of us uh, here. Uh, we kind of have always had a Gizwiz meetup, and this is our virtual one. So uh, we want everybody to participate if you can by sending in a video, even just a photo, a story to mail at gizwiz.tv. Try to put Halloween in the subject line. That'll help us out. Yeah. It, but, it can be you in costume, friends in costume, uh, neighbors' houses de decorated for Halloween. Anything to do with Halloween, 
Congratulations on another meetup. Anything you want. Uh, it'd be great if you can participate. Mail at gizwiz.tv. And it's Halloween night following our regular Gizwiz show. We'll probably take a 15-minute break and then come back with the Halloween virtual meetup, hopefully with a lot of your stuff. Exactly. So please send in videos and everything just to, to say hello. Uh, mail at gizwiz.tv. Um, let me think. What the heck is it? Play what the heck is it? Gizwiz.biz is Dickie D's website where he writes articles about every gadget that we cover on the show. So if you need a reminder or a link, uh, head on over to gizwiz.biz. While you're there, play what the heck is it? It's the game show online where you get to guess the gadget. And this is the entire gadget right there. Uh, and this is obvious to me. This is Indiana Jones's uh, cell phone holder. Uh, if you think you know what it is, get a guess. And over at gizwiz.biz, six mad magazines for correct answers, 12 mad magazines for funny, clever, or hilarious answers. So get a guess in. And this is what you win. This mad magazine, American Scream, uh, signed by Dickie D himself. So get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz. That about wraps up for our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>